Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In this video I'm again using the Arteza Mica Powders, but this time I'm using a pink and purple color palette. If you want to know how I made it then keep on watching. The two Mica Powders that I'm using in this video are Bubblegum Glow and Rose Gold. Bubblegum Glow is like a white mica powder that just has like a pinkish glow on it and it's just really beautiful. And Rose Gold is just a pink version of gold which is really pretty and I think it would look good against the pink and purple that I'm using as paint in this painting. Again I'm using Floetrol as an adhesive and mix it with the mica powder so I can use it in my acrylic pouring videos. If you want to know how to use it exactly I'm showing you that in the other video so just click the I in the top right and you can find the video explaining exactly how to use the Floetrol and the mica powders in your acrylic painting. When you buy a box of Arteza mica powders it comes with a little plastic spoon and this is the spoon that I'm using in this video. So I'm putting like 5 spoons of it in a layer of like a centimeter of Floetrol in the cup. It's not an exact science but the Floetrol dries like without color so translucent so if you mix it with the mica powder it just leaves the mica powder when the painting dries. So it just depends on how much pigment and how much shimmery stuff you want in your painting that's how much mica powder you add to the Floetrol. But if you add too much you get big chunks in it so you just have to look for the right consistency that works for your painting. <laughs> When I have paint left over from other pores, I just cover it up with aluminum foil and that way it keeps the paint fresh, I just mix it up and see if the consistency is right and then I can use it again for another painting. All the brands and colors of the paint that I use in this video will be down below in the description. You will also find a link to the Arteza mica powders down in the description below. I'm not getting paid by them, you just send it to me to try it out and show you guys how to use it in your paintings. So it's not like a sponsored thing or anything, it's not an ad, it's just me trying and give you an honest review. I'm just using my regular mix that I use for my paints, so it's about 5 parts Floetrol, 3 parts paint and just one or two parts water depends on how thick the paint is. Like I said in the other videos, it uh, depends on the paint, how much pigment is in there, how thick the paint is already, how much Floetrol you need and how much water you need. If you have more expensive paint, it has a lot of pigment so it doesn't matter, well it doesn't matter a little bit but you can add a lot of water to it. But if you have cheaper paints, there's less pigment in there so you have to use less water and more Floetrol to keep it all together and keep the color you like. I'm showing you the consistency of every color in like real time in this video so you can see it just leaves a little mount and then it slowly disappears so it's a bit of a thicker consistency that's what I like to work with not too thin because then you keep the shape of the cells more. Then of course I add the silicone oil, I put about two drops in the cups because the cups aren't all fold all the way so I just put two drops in there. I put some in the white because I made more white with it and the black and the mica powders are already ready and I didn't put any silicone oil in the mix with the mica powders. Then it's time to start to fill the dirty cup. I always start with a metallic or a shimmery color first because what is like poured in first comes out last so it's more on top of the painting like 
that's my idea behind it and I try to mix the mica powder mix in between the different layers of colors so it might pop more and just appear more in cells between all the colors it's mostly always a guess but you have to keep the contrast in mind so don't put two dark colors next to each other because then you can't see them in the painting so make sure you do dark light dark light or uh, do a dark metallic dark metallic that way it shows up in your painting I will now shut up for a bit and let you enjoy me pouring the painting and I'll see you at the end of the video with the end result I'm still trying to get where I was several months ago it still isn't the way I like it but somehow I love this painting it looks like an amethyst like a stone and the shimmering is in between just look really beautiful so I'm really happy with the end result but it might be too busy for some of you as you can see the colors dried way darker than they were when they were wet and that's why I like these colors and these paints because they just dry really beautiful and the shimmers that you can see in the photos are just super pretty when it was dry thank you so much for watching please leave a like and subscribe it's much appreciated and I'll see you in the next video